Pro Detailer today, we are putting together an article about headlining. So if you come this way, you'll be able to see what we're up to. We have brought PVD member Dave uh, of Perfectly Polished Over, Dave Guy, um, and he is coming and helping us with this challenging topic today. Um, so Dave, how do you normally go about headlines? I've got to be quite delicate with them because they're, uh, they're fabric and don't want to get them too wet to damage the glue or anything holding it up there. Uh, we can going to try a few different things out to see what works best and uh, try and keep, take good care of it. So as, uh, headlinings, as with a lot of things, it's about starting gently and seeing essentially how far you need to go uh, in order to get the grot out and equally knowing when to stop um, because you can end up doing more damage. Now, yeah. as you can imagine, Boris, he is uh, what, a 2002 car, yeah. so he's 16 years old. Uh, before my time, he was sort of uh, owned by sort of a, 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 a kind of a semi-farmer, kind of small freehold place, so there was lots of hay and stuff when I first got it. Um, and the headlining, it's... Um, seen better days. Seen better days yeah. is the best line. So I think it's, it's technically quite stiff. It's not sagging like kind of an old Rover or Jag or something from the day. Um, but it is pretty filthy. Um, let's have a look at your, your arsenal of weapons we have here. We've got different uh, approaches to try out. We'll start off as gently as we can to begin with. We'll start more often not with the steam cleaner. Just a shot quite a light clean and doesn't get anything too wet, which is what we want to avoid. We've also got some foam based cleaners which again stay quite dry whilst doing a good clean. So here again it's tempting to you know just squirt APC everywhere or even use a wet vac and squirt water from it but that will yeah. saturate too much. Exactly. These foam ones don't kind of embed, they don't saturate it um, so they're a better option. Uh, I brought along some toys as well in fact. Um, so starting here APC wise I've tried the new look detailing APC. Um, as you can tell it's not full we've been playing around with it so that's going to be an interesting one. This is a liquid APC though, so as opposed to a foam one, so perhaps more suited to some of the plastics and stuff. Yeah, we've got the old seat here. Seats Carpet. indeed. Um, and then we've got the Powermax upholstery cleaner, and I have to admit, I rather like the colour. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I haven't tried this yet. An upholstery cleaner is got elements of APC, but it'll have various other bits and bobs, and it'll be quite mild as well, I think. Yes, generally a bit more specialised towards the fabric, just to make them look extra sharp. Absolutely. Um, then we've got a favourite, which we have used before, uh, Car Pro Inside. Now, this is more aggressive, but it can be diluted. Um, but certainly if we, if we get really stuck, this is our, this is our kind of emergency go-to. Yeah. Um, I know it's a, a particularly brutally good product. Um, and then we also have a smell. Now, the car's very sweet smelling. Um, as you can tell, it is. It's got a certain rural whiff. And um, so we've got this product called Odex from Nanolex, which is supposed to kill the smell of sauce. It's kind of bacteria side and stuff like that. Um, and the Germans tend to know what they're doing with this sort of thing. So it'd be good to see if that works. Um, and then in terms of uh, the final thing, there's these new, have you seen these new air fresheners from Angel Wax? No, yeah, they're hot off the shelf thing. Yeah, they're quite fun. I was up at Angel Wax a couple of weeks ago, um, getting bits and bobs done, in fact, to Boris. Um, and um, I was throwing these by Matt, who gave me two flavours. as Eden, which is supposed to I imagine smell like uh, the Garden of Eden which is handy because I don't think anyone remembers exactly how it smells. Yeah, we'll find out though. Yeah, it's nice and floral, but without being too floral. Um, and then tools-wise, um, we've got some brushes. So here we've got a tapioca, this is tapoca? Something, something on those like it. It's kind of a leather soft. brush, um, and it's nice and soft. Um, and then we've got a slightly stronger one. This is actually a color lock brush, um, which feels, it's like a shoe brush, but not as stiff. Yeah. I would say they're, they're um, polycarbonate or poly something, they're synthetic, so no animals were killed, whereas this one, you know, Probably tons slaughtered for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, and then we've got some handy other bits and bobs. Now, these I picked up from Angel Wax as well. Yeah. Um, this is just a brush, but because it's short and tied in, it's really it's kind of soft while still being stiff. Doesn't give to it, so uh, but yeah, it's doing a good job. Yeah. So we're gonna have a play with that, see what happens. Um, from the same place, Angel Wax, I got one of these. Now, any guesses to what this is? It's completely irrelevant for our task today. It is. In fact. Um, but anyway, we've got one of those. In fact, it is for doing air vents. So you can imagine all the little air vents, if you want to get all James May about things, you just go along and de-dust your air vents. I love it, um, as you can tell. And they've got various brushes we're going to use. So Valet Pro do a nice selection of brushes, um, both soft and hard. Um, and then we've got these slightly wacky things here. So this is sponge on a stick, or high can. And they do various sort of sponges. And you think, oh, sponge, car care, you can't do that. The answer is, in certain places, sponges really do make sense. Um, and there are some interesting ones. There was a, a dual. The oh, yeah. purpose one that you've got somewhere. That's the one there. Um, so these would be quite interesting because again, yeah, they're too stiff this for paintwork for sure. Definitely. But for fabric, it might work. It can be quite ideal, yeah. But uh, this one's slightly softer as well, so it's ideal for headline. It's not going to fluff it up or anything like that, which we want to avoid. That's true because again, you can end up with quote unquote bubbles and stuff like that. Um, and they've also got handy little, little sponges there. These are really really soft, so good for, again for interior work. Um, so we're going to see how that works. You'll be able to read all about this uh, in the next issue. But in the meantime, I just want to show you what we're up against. So hold your metaphorical breath. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the camera off you there. You 
you will see what we are contending against. Um, it's uh, pretty pretty mucky. I'm just trying to get it so that the light can be seen. Um, but that is um, kind of 16 years worth of light agricultural usage. I think would be the best way of describing it. We've also um, we're going to spend the next sort of couple of hours, I think, going through this, and I want to do some 50/50s and try the different methods out. And then we'll put full details, full instructions, full kit list, all in the article coming out in issue eight. Yeah. So uh, it looks like it'll be quite a fun afternoon. Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> Catch up soon.